This is a video of my four favorite Blackstar amp recommendations. If you want to check out these amps, you can use the Sweetwater link in the description below. They're the retailer we use most often, and this link helps us out at no extra cost to you. Thanks for trusting our content and supporting Guitar Chalk. Enjoy the amps. My first pick is the HT5R. The HT series is my favorite within the Blackstar brand. The HT1, HT5, and HT5R are all completely tube powered. The R in the HT5R stands for reverb, which is omitted from the other two. What's remarkable about these amps is the onboard distortion. It just sounds really heavy and satisfying, almost like a Mesa preamp response, with a nice modern edge to it. Second up is the ID Core series. The ID Core series is Blackstar's most popular practice amp, shipping with several amp and effects pedal models. In this version, you have six amp sounds to work with and 12 different effects. Chorus, delay, and reverb are all included. We'd recommend this model as a good practice amp or something for beginners to get started with. Outside of those scenarios, it has limited appeal. Third is the HT Club 50. If you don't mind paying north of $500, the Club Series is one of the nicest amps Blackstar has to offer. Everything is tube powered, which gives both the clean and distorted modes a distinctly professional sounding tone. It just feels like a much more legit amplifier than the cheaper options. Adding to the high-end Blackstar tier, the Stage 60 is a pro-level combo. Also comes in a head version. It's easily the most flexible of the amps we've listed here, with channel-specific gain and volume controls, a wide range of EQ options, and a ton of functionality built into the back panel. Generally, we'd say the ID Core and HT series, the two cheaper options, are better for beginners and hobbyists, while the Club and Stage series are better in a more professional capacity. Though, the nicer amps could certainly be enjoyed by someone who simply wants the better tone and control, regardless of their skill level. Do you own or have you owned a Blackstar amp? If so, let us know what the experience was like and how you got along with it. Or maybe you're looking to buy one and you have questions about one of the amps mentioned here, or something we left out. If so, drop a line in the comments section and I'll answer there as best I can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.